Hello, algebra students. Today, we are going to learn how to solve special systems of linear equations. In the past, when we've solved special equations, it has been equations with either no solution or infinitely many solutions. The same is true today. Now, so far, we've solved systems of equations that had one solution. That would be like this first example, where the solution is the point where they intersect. Now today, we're gonna learn systems with no solution, aka parallel lines that never intersect, and we're going to learn systems with infinitely many solutions. These will be linear equations that are actually the same line, so because they intersect at every single point, they have infinitely many solutions. All right, for our first example, we have y equals 2x plus 1. We're going to graph that on this graph. So we start at the intercept, and then the slope is 2, so we go up 2 over 1. There's our first line. And then our second equation is 2x minus 5. So we start at negative 5. And the slope is 2 again, so we go up 2 over 1. And now because these lines are parallel, they have the same slope, they are never going to intersect, which means they have no solution. We could also solve this algebraically by using our substitution. So if y equals 2x plus 1, and y equals 2x minus 5. I could set those equal to each other. 2x plus 1 equals 2x minus 5. And then when we subtract 2x from both sides, they cancel out. And I have 1 equals negative 5, which we know is not true. If we come to a not true answer, it is no solution. All right, to graph this example, we're gonna have to rearrange our equations a little bit. Now this first one, negative 2x plus y equals three, I wanna get y by itself, which means I have to add 2x to both sides. So then this equation becomes y equals 2x plus three. I added two to both sides, so I could move it from the left to the right. Now the equation is in slope intercept form. The second one is going to have an extra step. First, we'll add 4x to both sides. So then we have 2y is 4x plus 6. That should be an x. <laughs> and then we'll divide everything by 2. So I have y equals 2x plus 3. All right, now notice these equations are the same. So I can graph them. The intercept is 3, the slope is 2x. They're going to be the same line, which means they intersect at every single point, which means they have infinitely many solutions. We could also solve this algebraically. So if I use this equation and substitute, 2x plus 3 for y, I would have the equation negative 4x plus 2 times 2x plus 3 equals 6. If we distribute the 2, I have negative 4x plus 4x plus 6 equals 6. Well, negative 4x plus 4x is going to be 0. Then I have 6 equals 6, which is true which means it has infinitely many solutions. All right, I want you to try to solve both of these on your own. You can solve them with graphing or you can solve them algebraically. So pause the video and then come back and see if you got the right answer. All right, I will also solve them. Um, A looks to be an easy one to do elimination with. So if I multiply this first equation by negative 2, I have negative 2x minus 2y equals negative 6. 
Now, if I add these equations together, the x's cancel, the y's cancel. So we're left with zero equals negative six plus six cancels. So zero equals zero. Because this is true, it has infinitely many solutions. Now you may have solved that by graphing. You may have solved that by substitution. If you figured out that they are the exact same line and you also got infinitely many solutions, you are correct. All right, for B, it looks like it's set up to substitute. So we're gonna substitute negative x plus three. And for y, I get the equation two x plus two, substituting for y negative x plus three equals four. We're gonna distribute the two. So two x, two times negative x is minus two x, plus two times three is six equals four. 2x minus 2x cancels out. I'm left with 6 equals 4, which we know is not true. So this system has no solution. You might have solved that by graphing and figured out that they're parallel, or you may have solved that a different way. But if you figured out that the system reaches an untrue statement and has no solution, you are correct. All right, guys, we have one more example. This is a long one. It says the perimeter of the trapezoidal piece of land is 48 kilometers. The perimeter of the rectangular piece of land is 144 kilometers. Write and solve a system of linear equations to find the values of X and Y. All right, so we know to find perimeter, we have to add up the length of each side. So for the trapezoid, I have two X, plus 4x plus 6y plus 6y equals 48. I can simplify this by combining like terms to get 6x plus 12y equals 48. The rectangle has a perimeter of 144. That means 9x plus 9x plus 18y plus 18y equals 144. I can simplify this by combining like terms to get 18x plus 36y equals 144. Now I would use elimination to solve this system of equations. Let's multiply that top equation by negative 3. I'm going to rewrite my equation down here so we can add it more easily. Negative three times six x is gonna be negative 18 x. Negative three times 12 y is gonna be negative 36 y. And negative three times 48 is gonna be negative 144. Now when we add these together, the x's cancel out, the y's cancel out, and the number on the other side cancels out. So we're left with zero equals zero, which is true. So this system of equations has infinitely many solutions. All right, just a recap of what we learned today. We learned how to solve systems of special equations. Now these include systems with infinitely many solutions. Now let's think, what kind of equations have infinitely many solutions? That'll be equations that are the same. And we also learned what a system of equations look, looks like that has no solution. Those are gonna be parallel lines. Thanks for doing the notes video today. Please see Canvas for further instructions.